tuna rijala shawatan min duni nisa balantum qumun tajalun 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 walutan id qala li qaumihi 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 walutan lutan 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 walutan id qala li qaumihi atatuna al fahishatu antum tubsirun wa antum tubsirun walut walutan 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 nil qala liqumi innakum latatuna rijala shahwata rijala shahwata rijala shahwata min duni nisa الله الولي المتقين احق من عبد واكرم من سئل والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء سراجا منير اما بعد ام ود برذا الرحيم هير السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته it's been going through a lot for about 4 years 5 years yeah 4 years, yeah, four years. and he tried so hard to hold it tight but it reached a time that he could not be able to hold it and he contacted me alhamdulillah and there we go i dealt with him inshallah alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Um, before i proceed i always do this is that it's very important for us believing men and women to make dua for each other so i request whoever's going to watch this make dua for brother rahim inshallah for allah to elevate his status and to grant him what he wants in this dunya and akhirah inshallah brother rahim you've explained to me a bit yes but i need you to explain in details when did it started when you started feeling there's a difference mm-hmm. in you rabb ishrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli so it initially started about four years ago mm-hmm. my father passed away mm-hmm. Um I was grieving for two weeks got on with my life had a great job I was working at Mercedes at the time had a full time job everything was going fine I wanted to get married to a sister and this is where I thought something was incorrect with me mm-hmm. every time I would think about the sister I would think about she's with somebody else or mm-hmm. she's going to do something wrong to me and this would give me panic attacks anxiety attacks mm-hmm. so even this if four years ago yeah this was four years this is how it started mm-hmm. and the these thoughts wouldn't leave me alone in psychology they referred it to something called retroactive jealousy this is a psychological term yeah because they don't know what this is they don't know what it is yeah. so the, the the doctor said you've got this type of ocd which is retroactive jealousy where you always obsess about your partner's past so you mm-hmm. can't get married you can't be in a relationship with anybody mm-hmm. So I was dealing with this for months and months and I was going insane I quit my job I couldn't go to work because all I could think about is her with somebody else mm. even if I have the thought she held hand with someone it gives me a panic attack subhanallah subhanallah just the thought but the thoughts won't stop mm-hmm. I stopped eating I lost weight um four years ago four years ago this is how it started um and I've lost my dad at the same time as well I was so bad I had to go live with my auntie so I was living in her room at the time. Um I went to the doctors they diagnosed me with something called borderline personality disorder. Mm-hmm. In psychology they, they, they go also so all sorts things. of different names yeah they diagnosed me with BPD. <laughs> you know one thing I always tell them this yeah. people they cannot stop. Yes. They just got names for everything. everything. Yeah. Subhanallah. Well everything. in fact is she done. Mm. Hak Yeah. But we at the time when we, you are vulnerable you don't know this. That's correct. When you don't have the ilm the knowledge. Yeah, when you're ignorant. Hak. Yeah. So I was dealing with this personality quote personality disorder for quite some time. I got really bad so unfortunately my auntie decided to kick me out. Without. <laughs> yeah, because she didn't know what was going on. Her son was getting married. You know, it was too much for her to handle. Mm. I don't blame her. She took me in for the first year. Um I was homeless living from one place to another going from one friend's house to another friend's house 
eventually I found my own place. Um, at this point, I've still got these thoughts now. I don't know what to do. So I started smoking weed to make myself better. Like to, to, to try and eradicate. Eradicate the, the pain. Mm. While I was smoking, thoughts. yep, it did help initially. Mm. So when I'd smoke, I would I'd forget about everything. It did help because Shaitan wanted you at the right place where he so or she wanted you. Do you understand? Yes. That's yeah. where the ease. Yeah, 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 yeah. The pain and the thoughts and then the anxiety. Yes. Uh, well, in fact, that's not correct for mm-hmm. you to smoke drugs. Then you no, feel, it's not. Yeah, yeah, no, right. no. But like I said, when you're desperate, you try yeah, everything. Yeah. That's why when you start smoking, you felt oh. Yeah, I felt oh, I'm better now. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the clouds. Yeah, right. So I was smoking for three f- months, and it was so bad. Even in Ramadan, I would choose marijuana over m- me fasting. Subhanallah. Yeah, so Subhanallah. I say this for this. I don't say this to expose myself. I say this for if anyone's got a similar problem at home, we need to talk about it. Yeah, that's because correct. Because this is happening in our community. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I say this for the sake of exposure for people to, to, get, to help. get help. Yeah, that's Subhanallah. correct. Subhanallah. Yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't be fasting in Ramadan anymore. My fast would be one one joint in the morning, one joint in the evening. So I was smoking You used for f- to live alone then? Yes, right. alone, yes That's four years Yes, and and I don't have contact with any female But I still think about this woman Yeah Who is in my imagination yeah. Making me go mad And there's no woman then? No woman, nothing mm-hmm. um, Then I started to have panic attacks Real severe panic attacks That would last one or two hours In and out the A&E In and out the A&E In and out the A&E And I'd ring my family members If I have a headache I think I've got a stroke If I have something wrong with my arm, I think my arm, um, I've got some sort of diabetes. Every two seconds, I'm going to the doctors. The A&E are telling me, go back home. There's nothing wrong with you. Go. I'm, t- I'm saying I'm dying. I'm dying. Let Lock me up in a mental asylum. There's something up with me. They said, go back home. And then I just decided that maybe this is just me, who I am. I lived with this pain for quite some time. So I dealt with health anxiety. A year, a year passes now. And I think maybe I'll try smoking again. I've tried different things. Tried a little bit of praying, but it didn't really work. Tried this, tried that, tried medication. So it made, it made, it made you think that it didn't work? Yes, of course, yeah. So I tried, tried praying, but my pr- prayer wasn't pr- properly done because I've got drugs in my system. I've got mm, filth mm, in my system. Which Allah we'll says get. in the Quran, mm. do not pray salah while you're intoxicant. Subhanallah. So I would smoke weed. And as soon as I smoke weed, I'd do the intoxicant. My addiction was that bad when I would make the joint, I would read Bismillah and Aytul Kursi over it, then smoke it. Subhanallah. Because I was that desperate. I just got Allah, I know this is wrong. I know you, this is wrong, but I need anything right now. Yeah, My mind's going mental. To just, remove the... Just to re- re- feel relaxed or mm. anything. Because right now I still think I've got a personality disorder. Mm. I didn't think there's any sihr, magic, mm. jinni, mm. nothing in me. Mm. Doctors telling me it's a personality disorder. Mm. Um... Mm. Quite some time went past, stopped praying, and I'd always change my looks. So one day I'll have blonde hair, the other day I'll have pink hair, then I'll have clean shaven, then I'll rock and roll, I'll listen to rock and roll music, then I want to be a rapper. My circle kept changing. Your personalities, you yes. had several personalities. Yes, several personalities. This indicates there's several jinns. Yeah, yeah, yeah subhanAllah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I read on you and there was five jinns. Hak, hak, hak. And everyone just, when I asked everyone, they just said, Raheem, this is how you are. You just like l- being loads of different people. Mm. Everyone always made me feel it's, it's normal. Yeah. And this was wrong. So one day you're blonde, one day you're uh, rock and roller, one yeah. day you're rap, one day you're shake black man, one day, whatever. Yeah, shake it was that bad. I, I'd go to the masjid one, this is when I was a kid. I'd go to the masjid, I'd, I'd pray my namaz, straight after I'd go to the pub and drink alcohol with my non-Muslim friends. And nobody know two different groups. Mm. It was like playing two different roles. Yeah, but you 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 are not aware of it. You no. you had no control. I had of it. no control of it. I was heavily influenced inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence, I'm telling this. Yeah. There's a lot of people are suffering from this. Yeah, yeah. Then quite some time, quite I still lived on my own. Quite some time passed, and then while um, you're doing the four, the five personalities, four personalities. Yeah, five, four personalities. Yeah. I, tell me, tell me, it's very interesting. Tell me the personality. Is it one week or is it one day or is it one month? Shake it was that bad. I had five different Facebook accounts. Okay, with different yeah. names. Or a, a I've I've changed my name by uh, government yeah. four times. Yeah. Subhanallah. Yeah, this is what it is. Can you see now? You have five genes. Yes. And when I read only there's five genes mm-hmm. in the body. Yeah. Now 
these five personality the, 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 like blonde you say yes. and i don't know the other one yeah. so how long do you keep that blonde color in your hair until that one's had enough okay for how long one week two it months, could it could, months, it could go from one week to two week it could go from month. one month yeah okay. but when i start to feel pain inside my chest mm-hmm. i'll change i might shave my head off and grow a big beard or i might clean shave in a week later and dye my hair blonde oh uh, subhanallah and then people just think oh that's just him Yeah 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 stuff yeah. <laughs> for Allah but they didn't know that they right? didn't know. suffering yeah right? they didn't know I was suffering yeah. yes bismillah Karim. bismillah so I, i went back to smoking drugs again um i thought smoking weed was the answer um i was sat with one of my friends he was a non muslim and he said to me once that he had a dream once and in that dream he was living for six months so he went to dream he went he had a dream and, and in sleep. the dream it's like he was there for six months now when he said this to me my waswas came This was about a year ago exactly. Raheem you're in a dream. Raheem you're in a dream. Raheem you're in a dream. Every single day Raheem you're in a dream. Raheem you're in a dream. this is not real. Yeah, it's so, it's so imagine like he woke you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's making me think shake that nothing is real. I'm asleep somewhere yeah. and I'm in a coma and this is a dream. And I have this waswas every single day. And this was making me suicidal. It was making me think nothing's real. Allah's not real. This is not real. I'm um, th- your your just imagine shake. You're just in my imagination. Mm, it was making me think that subhanallah. I had that every day. And then um I met my wife. Um that's after after this dream thing. Um, I met my wife. How many uh, years is that after that? I'd say about um this was I met my wife a year ago. Mm-hmm, okay. I met my wife a year okay, ago. Three years. Three years. Yeah, yeah. So I met my wife a year ago and then I told her my situation. um and she was very supportive she didn't know what it was alhamdulillah yeah. she just said probably just mental health um even while i was in getting to to what getting to know her to marry her mm. i'd still have these health anxiety attacks mm. now one year into the marriage um my waswas has become the worst it's ever been mm. so remember tell me about this waswas because this waswas started four years ago yes tell me what do they say and what to tell me all mm-hmm. it's who, good to know who did she have sex with Stop who did she it. hold hands with okay. where did she go last night what did she do in high school that's, what did that's your wife yes no, before your wife yeah uh, um before, same thing yeah. where did she go how many times has she had sex these are thoughts you yeah get. but you don't have no wife yeah you don't have no yes more. yes yeah. but it's like this it's obsessant shake it doesn't leave me alone mm. and it, and i get it so much i end up asking because i can't get rid of it it's like a ocd so i get so the i get the obsession asking somebody in the street no no i'd ask my wife no no we're talking about four years yeah yeah, yeah. no your wife is one year isn't yeah, it? yeah after three years you met yeah, yeah but the thoughts were there yes but so the thoughts were there about somebody else first who i wanted to marry okay, okay so that person it was yeah. it the same thoughts or different same thoughts um everything was centered around her past made up has she had sex before has she done this before has she done this before and just if i wanted to get to know her instead of saying let me speak to your father have you done this before have you done this before have you done because it, it's driving me crazy so you asking her yeah and what happens to the she, individual she would answer she'd say no I, i've never done this or something i'd get a little bit of relief for maybe two, three minutes and then i would ask another question mm. have you done this and this would happen This multiple times, multiple times mm. and then the marriage got called off mm. yeah i mean you say you get thoughts about allah about the rasul mm-hmm. what's those thoughts is it uh, kufr thoughts or not? yeah kufr really kufr thoughts probably probably one of the worst you've had on the podcast mm. so i've seen some of your other material and i seen one individual he said he has thoughts about someone doing urine on the quran i have yeah, yeah, yeah. i have thoughts of aud bil amin dhalik Yeah. I am a prophet. I am Allah. Yeah, yeah, but like this. Yeah. You are, you are, you are, you are. Yeah, but the yeah, fact yeah. is not. Yeah, I would be like that. Many people mm. who say they are the jah, they are not the jah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you got thoughts of that? No, I've not had the mahdi yet. Okay. But I've had loads of other things. You're you're gay, you're this, you're that. Yeah. Um all sorts of at uh, your Allah, this that would be all sorts. You're God. But which one was consistent? Oof. I am a or okay yeah that that was consistent and another one is that um, I'm a Wh- killer as well when I was driving murderer. yeah 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 murderer. so the so the one which comes like you or whatever you gay whatever was it in 
extreme or was in moments so the gay thing came maybe a few months ago i was with my wife we went to mcdonald's mm. and we got served by a man and mashallah the man was a good looking man just general mm. and i said to my wife mashallah he's a good looking guy she goes yeah he's very mashallah he's good looking anyway we drove on next thing you know do you like him 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 i'm thinking i'm saying to my wife i'm married now what's up i'm getting these stuck for all these homosexual thoughts inside of me mm-hmm. and they're really bothering me and she goes just ignore it it's just shaitan inside of you just say i was a billah i was a billah mm. but this was happening for a week then i went to go to watch a film with my wife anytime a man would come on screen do you like him do you like him do you like him do you like him do you like well like not i couldn't even watch the film I had to say, my wife, we have to. You didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I was in yeah. desperation, Sheikh. Yeah, Nick, uh, inshallah, from here, inshallah, uh, is for benefiting you and the audience. It's every time there's thoughts like that come, mm-hmm. you turn on your left and say, A'udhu billah min shaitan rajim, mm-hmm. and spit yeah. three times. Yeah. It's going to go away. Mm-hmm. Every time the thoughts comes, you do the same. Yeah. Allah says, Wa imma yanzagannaka min shaitan nazgu, fasta'idhu billah. When the thoughts of shaitan comes, seek refuge towards Allah. Mm-hmm. In, and he finished with the ayah, he say, Inna hu huwa sami'un alim. Mm-hmm. He's the hearer and the great alim. Yeah. yeah. The great hearer. So, with his two names, if he's with his two men. Now, there's another ayah. He says, Inna keda shaitani kana da'if. The plot of shaitan is very weak. Mm-hmm. Hassan al-Basri says the shaitan looks at the individual if he seem wobbly he attacks if he doesn't seem wobbly seem steadfast he leave him alone mm. now he these thoughts come to you because shaitan knows that you have no weapon Suck. you have you don't know where to hold mm-hmm. now if they come again from example whatever yeah you or whoever there's no one is immune for, from thoughts Because Allah says in the Quran, وَلَقَدَ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ I repeat this verse so much. Mm-hmm. We've created man and we know what thoughts come to him. Subhanallah. That's Allah says. Subhanallah. So no human mm-hmm. being yeah. is immune from thought. Subhanallah. He's yeah. immune from what's worse. Yeah. Everyone. Mm-hmm. Whoever tells you he doesn't get thoughts is a liar. Yeah. Ev- everyone gets thoughts. Yeah. Everybody. Mm-hmm. So what needs to happen is that you need to turn on the left and mm-hmm. say "Audhu billahi min shaitan rajim" and blow on the left, and that's it. Mm-hmm. May Allah make it easy for you, Ameen, and Shaykh. make it easy for whoever's watching, Ameen. and whoever is suffering, Ameen. and whoever's watching, let them come forward. Inshallah, we'll help them, we'll diagnose them, Inshallah. just like the way we diagnose you. Yes, yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Now, carry on. Yeah. So it, I, I was having these homosexual type thoughts. thoughts yeah. yeah. And then the thoughts would turn into something else. Mm-hmm. So now I've got It's some, interesting to talk about them. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I've got something called in psychology, drive and run OCD. Subhanallah. So I'm driving. No one's on the road. Have you run someone over? Have you run someone over? Have you, you run do? someone over? Alhamdulillah, I knew it was a compulsion. So for me to go back, but I didn't go back. I tried to ignore it. Alhamdulillah, but, best. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to ignore it. But I wasn't saying I was a billah. I didn't know. I just ignored it, ignored it, ignored it. But it didn't leave me alone. It would give me mental movies of me running someone over. Like an imagination, something mm, made up. Like, like a movie. Like, like a movie. Eyes, yeah, 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 yeah. What happened here? Do you want to look on your mirror? Do you want to check again? And it was driving me ins- insane. You, but the good thing is that you don't stop. You just carry on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know the there was no one on the road. Yeah, yeah. But it was still saying, you hit somebody. Yeah. I could be in a plain field and it could tell me there's 10,000 people there. Yeah. I know there's not 10,000 people there. Yeah. But it'll keep telling me that. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah that you ignored yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't entertain it. Yes. I, once you entertain, you're in trouble. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I didn't entertain it, but that's not left. Even till this day, it still comes to me so, mm. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Just say, Audhu billahi minash shaitan rajim on your left, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really strong. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you get the, the intent of you hitting somebody. Hitting somebody, yeah. homosexual thoughts, mm. um, retroactive jealousy, which is my wife's past. Mm. Um, what did you used to do? Now, how is she coping though with this now? Because uh, you're married. 
and you're getting these because it's, it's, it's a nightmare for her. It is, it is a nightmare for her, but she's such a supportive person to me and she understands. She, she understands and she knows the type of person I am deep down. She says something to me. She goes, Raheem, the reason I've not said anything because I know this is not you. Mm. It's the best thing she ever said. I'm the, but now she re, she knows exactly. She, yeah, she knows exactly because I showed her the videos. Yeah, I've se really She's that. seen the shayateen inside of me, the jinns. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's it. I mean, my family diagnosed me, said it's your anxiety, it's your PTSD, trauma. And that made me a little bit sad because for four years I've been dealing with trauma. There's no trauma there, Sheikh. Mm, absolutely, there's yeah. no trauma. <laughs> there's no dep there, there is a depression. Yeah, yeah. The anxiety, depression, there's a depression of uh, death, losing somebody Normal. you love and things yeah, like yeah. that. But for nothing... There's nothing like that. Yes. Also, the ulama says that if you see somebody has anxiety and depression, ask him, what's the connection between him and the Lord? Mm -hmm. You'll find that individual very far away from his Lord. SubhanAllah. Yes. So these diseases are there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Allah says, Whoever stays away from me, he will be he will live a depressed life. This is what Allah. So, depression, anxiety comes when the person is far away from Allah. Allah. Now, if the person prays, and if the person does the remember, remembers Allah, and he has this, then it's to do with the shayatun. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Also, the person could not be praying, and could be just a person who is ne negligent, ignorant, yeah. or heedless. Let me use the word heedless. Heedless of the remembrance of Allah. Heedless of remembering Allah. And has this disease. Many of the time, it is because the person is possessed or is far away from Allah. Allah. Mm. Now your wife is coping. Yes. She, she doesn't know what's going on. No, she doesn't. She comes and says to you, mm. that, Rahim, I know you're a good man. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, she understands you. But what's happening to you? Yeah. So before before me and my wife got married, I told her I've got this disease called retroactive jealousy, which we know now is a jinn. Mm. And she goes, it doesn't matter because I accept you for who you are. Mm. The illness after I got married only came after three months into marriage. Mm. That's when I started to have these thoughts about my wife. And it, it was all based around her past. Sometimes the thoughts would get so bad she could go to the toilet and my mind's telling me who's in the toilet with her But there's no one in the apartment. Do you go and check? No. Alhamdulillah, that's good. No, I don't check. Yeah One thing is that is good about you is mm. Alhamdulillah Allah has given you that ability and Ulama they say this as well. What comes into our mind? Mm -hmm. We have no control Subhanallah. But what is in our mind? Yeah, we have no we have control a control not to entertain mm -hmm. once you entertain it you'd fall into the hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said transgressor yes. you start transgressing Haq. now your wife is in the toilet you're getting thoughts say she's with somebody what if yeah. you entertain what is going to happen I'm going to open the toilet door yeah and start knocking yeah alhamdulillah alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah you didn't do that so alhamdulillah you're in a very good position mm -hmm. but it shake it that is very difficult for me not yeah, to do because that. the thoughts are there so much yeah I know that but now you know yeah. you say yeah. and then that's it yeah yeah. yeah, so then um, about a week ago, this is how, now all this is happening in the background. The thoughts keep changing from my wife to who she'd been with to um, have you hit someone to something blasphemous with religion, something bad about Allah and his messenger, Salah Sallam. They keep changing and I'm at the point of suicide. Mm. I go, nothing's helping me. No drugs, nothing's helping mm. me. I'm really low. And I spoke to my sister. Uh, she lives in London with my mom, and I told my sister these thoughts I'm having. She goes, Raheem, that's not normal. They sound like demons inside of you. Have you ever thought about a rukia? I go, rukia. Hmm. I go, I've never really believed in it. Never really known about it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to give it a go because I'm desperate. I want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm really mm -hmm. bad right now. So two days later. I'm at the worst point in my life. I'm crying. I'm thinking about taking my own life, Shake. I'm really bad. I got. I don't have a minute of breather. Everything I'm getting. It's like I'm getting schizophrenia almost. Mm -hmm. I prayed my Asr prayer and I asked Allah, Allah, 
guide me to any Rukia, whichever you choose for me, I will go to that today. I googled Rukia in my local area in Manchester and then your page came up, Sheikh, and I was like, I don't know anything about you, but Allah, I ask that you choose this one for me because I just need someone right now. Mm. So I rang you up, we made the appointment on, uh, uh, on Jum'ah mm. and I came here at six o'clock. Um, came inside, was a little bit nervous because I've never had a Rukia or anything mm-hmm. like this done before. Um, you started reciting upon me and the jinn started to come out. <laughs> and uh, and yeah. then we, we diagnosed me with that. I've got magic on me. Mm-hmm. I've got jinns inside of me. And that's what's been playing with mm-hmm. me all, all this time. Yeah, one of the things is good that you mentioned, I just, I've totally forgot, it came out from my mind because we're discussing something different. We're discussing about yourself. Is that... Mm-hmm. I have diagnosed you, alhamdulillah, by yeah. the will of Allah, that yeah, there's jinns. Yeah. There's five jinns. Mm-hmm. And there is, you have sihrum mashmoom. Yes. Sihrum mashmoom is black magic or smoke. Mm-hmm. Black magic has four, t- it's four types. The air and the water mm-hmm. and the mud, sand, mm-hmm. whatever, and the fire. Mm-hmm. So the one is in the air is mashmoom. Mm-hmm. They smoke and it stays in the air. It could be it could be anything that has been smoked. Paper. Anything. Wait, so it, you tell me if I smoked a joint I could that's how it's coming, the, sir. Yes. Ah. It could go inside you yeah. through smoke. Okay, okay. It could come may Allah preserve us. Yeah. We could go anywhere. Anywhere. Subhanallah. It will be in there. You breathe in, you don't. Subhanallah. It could be Agarbati, mm-hmm. you know Agarbati, Agarbati isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. They burn it yeah. and they left it there, and the smoke is in the air, and it hits you. Mm-hmm. Now, once it hits you, you have problems with headache. Yes. Because it goes there. Mm-hmm. Sinuses. Yes. Your eyes flickery. Yes. Stutter, stuttering. Yes. You got that problem? I've got stuttering. Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah. Stuttering, eyes flicker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And too much thought. Yeah. The thoughts will be overwhelming. Why? It's because they target only there. Yes. That's exactly, I've got all the yeah. symptoms. Mm-hmm. It's one of the most dangerous black magic. Mm-hmm. It's black magic, it can hit anybody. Mm-hmm. They don't need your name. Wow. They don't need your mother's name, date of birth, your clothes, your hair. No. Subhanallah. It's explicit and you had it. It's like another black magic which is called marshush. Sprinkle, mm-hmm. they sprinkle it. Mashmoom is that one. I've got videos, I've deleted them, and inshallah, may Allah give me the ability. I need to make it again in a broader way because inshallah. it's good for people to know. So you have sihr mashmoom. Mm-hmm. That's why you have too many thoughts. Stutter. Your eyes flicker as well. Yes, and I have something called renital migraines where I start to see colors in one eye yeah. and my vision goes. Yeah. And then it'll come. It's not you. Yeah. The vision is not you. It's mm-hmm. a jinni possessing the eyes. Subhanallah. It's a jinni possessing the eyes. So right. sometimes it's a snake jinn. Right. So snake jinn comes in the eyes and you start seeing blurry. Yeah, yeah, blurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah different blurry. colors. Yeah. Because nature of a snake, mm-hmm. it doesn't see clear. They see blurriness. Yes. Yeah, subhanallah. Makes sense. Do you understand now? Yeah, yeah. It's a deep field that can go on and explain. You can sit here for a whole day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't have no time. Yeah. Uh, Alhamdulillah. So you have Sihr Mashmoom and Sihr Mashmoom. These are four or five symptoms I've just mentioned that it's common. Mm-hmm. You have these, whoever has these, know that he has Sihr Mashmoom. Mm-hmm. Headache constant. Mm-hmm. Flicker of the eyes. Mm-hmm. Stuttering. Yeah. Breathing issue. Mm-hmm. And the waswas. Abandon. Yes. Ask Allah to make it easy for you and Amen. whoever has got any type of black magic. Now, Amen. the wife knows back again. Mm-hmm. You know how many types of thoughts you get. And you made dua. You call your sister. Yeah. You came here. I did, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Did the rukhya? Alhamdulillah. How did it go from there? It's the first. I, when I first came, got here, I was a bit skeptical because, like I said, I've never, I've never done rukia before. Yeah, you didn't know what's gonna I didn't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Just like if you went to the doctors or the dentist for the first time, yeah. you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, you just thought, oh, you just thought, what's this? This is another process. Yes, yeah, it's another process. It's mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. After fifteen minutes 
of the Sheikh reciting the Quran, my whole body started, your, my Trembling, body started to yeah. shake, trembling. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, we're onto something. Mm. This is where I needed to be all along. Alhamdulillah. This, but I had to wait for four years, subhanAllah, four years of suffering to finally mm. get Shifa. Mm. But Alhamdulillah, you know, it's better than 10 years. Alhamdulillah, good. Now, tell me the difference. Four years mm -hmm. and now. Yeah, there's a, a major improvement. Um, I think after the first session, I, my head felt a little bit lighter. Then I had another session um, and the, the magic was coming out more apparent. You could see it on my body and oh, it was all coming to surface. And another thing that it's helped me with is because I know what it is, I can concentrate on my deen now. That's correct. Yeah. You see, this is one of the things. Alhamdulillah, it's very important you mentioned that. Allah says the one who knows and the one who doesn't know, mm -hmm. they are not the same. Subhanallah. The one who's in the dark and the one who's in the light, mm -hmm. they are not the same. Yeah. The one who's knowledgeable and the one who's not knowledgeable are not the same. Subhanallah. Now, you will take this sickness in a different eye. Haq. In a different angle. Yes, yes, yes. Whereas before I was taking it through You wanted to commit suicide. Suicide. But now you say, oh. It's the jinn, shaitan. Jinn. Yeah, jinn I will shaitan. definitely defeat him. Inshallah. Oh, it's black magic. It will yeah. definitely go away. Inshallah. Now, what comes forward now mm -hmm. is Allah says one of the most beautiful verses is A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Wa ma lana alla natawakkal ala Allah Wa qad hadana Wa qad hadana subulana Wa la nasbiranna ma'ala ma adaytumuni What is wrong with you? It says the verse, what is wrong with you people that you do not have tawakkal, reliance upon Allah after he has guided you? Mm -hmm. You have to be patient or we have to be patient through the harm we are going through. Mm -hmm. And the harm could be any type of harm. This is a very, very beautiful verse. So now what will happen because you know everything you have to be patient yes yeah you have to be patient you have to build your religion and not only this any another calamity you have to be patient. you have to go back to your work yes yeah you have to definitely go back to bmw whatever yeah, it's yeah. bmw it's mercedes yeah, yeah you yeah, have yeah. to go back yeah inshallah yeah, 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 yeah. Go back there. don't yeah, worry yeah. about it know that oh he's come yeah. get out from me mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's what i say Easy. Easy. Yeah, but you may think it's very hard, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, but oh, the only, again, the only reason I thought it was very hard because... You didn't know. I didn't know, Sheikh, and I wasn't praying. I had no tawakkul. I had. I was impure. Mm. I was living a very dirty lifestyle, mm. smoking. Yeah, that's the difficult part. Yeah, yeah. yeah so when I, if I did say I was a bit like, it wouldn't work. Yeah. There's no power behind it. This is a very good point also you mentioned. There's people mm -hmm. who I have come across is that they don't pray at all. Mm -hmm. And these people are possessed. SubhanAllah. They don't pray at all and they go in sleep. They read that Kursi, and they call me and she Sheikh, come on man, I'm getting attacks every night. Yeah. I read that Kursi, and I told you press I say no. Then how can that work? Yeah. SubhanAllah. You skip everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that's why before I came here, I made it, sure I was my salah it, it was in check. Very important. It, yeah. Now you have to hold it tight. It's very you have tight. To, yeah. to learn more. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, we're getting there, inshallah. May Allah make it easy for you. Inshallah, and the inshallah. difficulty you're going through. I mean, this one of the worst things is that not knowing what's your problem. Yes, it's very dangerous as well. Yeah, knowing now what's your problem. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, all these the doctors is having different, different views. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Alhamdulillah, Islam is black and white. Yes, yeah, this is why they are fighting Islam. Mm -hmm. It makes to sense to cover all. Yeah, yeah, but. I'm me personally, Rahim. I have been to mental hospital mm -hmm. so many times okay. inside. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of people mental health section who's got gin position. I would say eighty five percent. Wow, subhanallah. Because it's not something somebody told me. No, yeah, yeah. I have been there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen it. Yes, yes. I have visited brothers mm -hmm. who say who pray five times, but Every time they cross the road and they see a human being, they get thoughts. That's your Lord. Yeah. yeah, that's your Lord. But I tell them one thing. Do you know the Quran? Mm -hmm. They say no. I say because Allah says, Laysa kamitlu Nothing you could compare with him. Mm 
Mm-hmm. So, so how can the devil come and tell you that's your Lord? Yeah. When he says nothing, it looks like him. Mm-hmm. You cannot say anything looks like Allah. Mm-hmm. Allah, Rabbul Izzah. Mm-hmm. Because he created everything. Why does he need to look like creation? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's lack of knowledge, Shay. Yes. We don't have knowledge in our yeah, community. That's yeah, why yeah. it's important for us to go to Basics. Um, Rukia doctors like yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. to bring us back to the basics. Alhamdulillah. 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 I ask Allah to make it easy for you. I mean, uh, anything you want to add more? That's it, Sheikh. Yeah, I'm just like I said. I've had a few treatments with you now. I'm a lot lighter, but some things are. Uh, the, I know the jinns aren't liking it. Mm. So they're uh, they're the, in, in the some areas. I've got to yeah, use. yeah. In some areas, I've got a lot of relief. But in, when I come here, they attack me the most. Yeah. Don't go there. You better stop now yeah. This that But when I come here Once I get the session done I'm back to normal I've got alhamdulillah, relief alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah make it easy for Ameen. you And ask all the viewers To Make dua for Rahim Inshallah Not only Rahim Me as well Inshallah Ameen May And ask Allah it. All the viewers Whoever's got any issue To Allah to cure them Amen.